Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. So, Jimmy Dore uh, started something called Force the Vote. And uh, I hope that you had heard of it by now, but uh, what this is, is telling members of the Democratic Party to withhold their vote for Pelosi until she brings universal health care, Medicare for all, up to a floor vote. Okay? Just because the Speaker of the House is up for election within Congress, within the House, in January. So, yeah, we need to absolutely do this. Hold that vote. Do not do not vote for her. Tell her, tell her straight out. We need a mass number of elected officials, representatives, to withhold their vote for her until she agrees to bring this up for a vote. You know, now there's been this debate about you know, universal health care, and I get so sick of people, you know, claiming, oh, well, the Republicans aren't going, no, we need a recorded vote on this. We need a recorded vote on Medicare for all. Oh, but the Republicans, okay, then we vote the Republicans out. The majority of Americans support Medicare for all. At least 80% of Americans support Medicare for all. Look at every other developed country. China. They say, oh, well, it'll destroy our economy. Really? Because China's passing us up at light speed. They've got universal health care. Every Every nation in the European Union has got universal health care. Look at the euro compared to the dollar in value and look at what, what's backing it. Look at, the, look at what's backing the Chinese currency. They have it backed by gold. They have it backed by their uh, you know, manufacturing capacity. Yeah, meanwhile, we've got a trade deficit with every damn country that we trade with, including Russia. And Russia has universal health care. Some people will try to bring up, oh, well, uh, you know, Lithuania, you know, look at their uh, economy. Look at the size of Lithuania. Look at, look at, in, if you want to do that, then you're looking at the entire European European Union, okay, and you're going to pick out here and there, okay, pick out the uh, economies of individual states in the United States. Look at those economies independently. You know, this, you can't pick and choose like that. You got to look at the whole thing. Look, look at the quality of life in each of these countries and how they're ranked. Look at their security, which is far, which far exceeds ours. Their quality of life, their happiness, their everything. Their quality of life exceeds ours (laughs) tenfold. Every time, the thing about it is, you know, so many Democrats, if Republicans come off and say, oh, we can't afford universal health care. Oh, they're demons. They're horrible. You know, vote them out. Okay, but if our side says, oh, we can't afford it, or in Hillary Clinton's words, ain't never going to happen. Universal health care ain't never going to happen. They are what they are telling you is that they are not going to allow it to happen. You're always tied up in this us versus them. No, the only it is us, you know, the American people 
against them, the corporate slaves that we have in elected office. The ones that are gripping power with white knuckle grip from the time they walk into office. Even AOC, you know, Jimmy Dore has called her out on it. She will not commit to holding her vote on this. She won't do it. So, how is that progressive? Yeah, so if our side says we can't afford it, oh, well, we'll just have to do without. Oh, my God, how are we going to afford medical care for the American people during a freaking pandemic when tens of millions of people have lost their employer-subsidized health insurance? How are you going to survive when you're getting laid off and you have to change jobs to a lower-wage job? Okay? And your insurance is dependent on and tied to an individual employer. And, the, and I've spoken so many times, our system with the deductibles and co-payments and denials to, of care, needed care. This is not a health care system. This is a wealth care system. And it's not your wealth that they're protecting. They can tell you that you, know, you are denied care because you have a, a pre-existing condition. Th that means you need the health care them even more. But you can be denied. It's your fault that you were, you were like, like I was born with ulcerative colitis. It's something I was born with. It's not, you know, but it's my fault. Yeah. You get high blood pressure. You have a stroke. It's your fault. You have Crohn's disease. Whatever. Cancer. You had cancer once before. It's a pre-existing condition. Even if you don't have cancer now, you went through treatment and you're in remission, it's still a pre-existing condition and they can refuse to pay for your care. You can go bankrupt just from what is left over if they do pay something. That is our system. That is what you, you are actually endorsing when you keep voting these people that say we can't do it we can't do it we won't try you keep voting these people into office and voting them into office and cheering for them oh us against them meanwhile the democrats do what the dnc does what they get the Green Party kicked off of ballots in multiple states. How is that democratic? How does that, how are they on your side? How are they on your side doing that? There have been several cases now in multiple states where the DNC, the Democrats, held fundraisers for Republican candidates when the Democratic candidate was a progressive and endorsed things like, oh, guess what, Medicare for all. No, they go and collect their campaign donations. They get promises of lobbyist positions if or when they leave office that, so that they're getting rich lobbying for the insurance companies and what have the oil companies and what have you, the weapons companies. They collect this money for their ca 
campaigns and lobbying and all this stuff. And they pass laws that are in favor of the corporations. And then they tell you, we can't do it. We can't do it. Oh, it's the Republicans. Really? Really? No. You need to contact your elected officials and tell in the Democratic Party and tell them, hold your vote for Pelosi. Oh, what if someone worse gets in? First of all, the chances are kind of low. She and Schumer have been at the top of the Democratic Party for years. And what have they done besides raise more money for the Democratic Party, which does not represent you? They do not represent you. Get that. They represent their donors. So hold You need to tell your elected officials, hold your vote. We need new blood at the top of the Democratic Party. We need new blood. We need multiple parties. We need a third party and a fourth party to challenge these things. The the DNC and the RNC run the Council on Presidential Debates, who disallow third-party and fourth-party candidates from even taking part in the debates. Compare this to other countries where they have 14 different parties represented on one stage during a debate. During uh, Russia's last election, I think they had 18 different parties represented. But according to our media, oh, well, Putin's, uh, you know, suppressing, you know, this one guy that had less than 1% support. (laughs) Yeah, um, it doesn't work that way. It, It does not work that way. We do not have a functioning democracy in the United States. Those are the words of Jimmy Carter. We do not have a functioning democracy in this country. Only we can change it. Stop whining. Stop whining and sitting back and just voting these people back in, voting these people back in. Let's make a change. We have to do it. Nobody is going to do it for us. All right? So, I'm proud of Jimmy Dore. And, you know, that that is a really good movement he started. And I've been watching him since he was on TYT prior to the uh, Democratic Convention in 2016. And I really cheered when he started when he left them and started his own channel. So, if you ain't watching Jimmy Dore, you need to. Oh, he's too rough. He's too... Yeah, yeah, he doesn't cave in. He doesn't cave in. All right. You shouldn't cave in either. It's time to stand up. All right, so... That's the end of this one. Please share this video. Talk about these subjects. If you can, then please donate a dollar a month to help expand the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.